Interesting thing happened yesterday. Chris and I went for a long ride. Now, Chris is from Melbourne. We went for a big ride around the Byron Hills, about 146 k's. It was pretty humid, um, pretty hilly. And Chris did okay until that last 15 k's where he got sock sickness and his um, feet basically were broken and they stopped working. Um, now, Chris was wearing giant, tall, yellow socks yesterday. Um, and so we pondered, the, you know, we pondered the question and asked ourselves, is there a relationship um, between some variables that will determine the optimal sock height for peak cycling performance? So the things we um, we wondered about was, does um, how well muscled your calf is have a have a um, is is it a factor in in this equation? Your cankle factor, like how cankly your legs are, does that have an effect as well? Um, and also the third thing was forgotten it. Also, the third thing was generally, does you, like how tall you are, does that have an effect on the optimal sock height as well? So we'll go down to my legs, Chris, and see what I'm talking about. So I've got a few socks here in front of me of varying lengths, which we're going to try on and, and mark, put a sharpie mark on my leg just to see um, how they look. But basically, what we're looking at is the calf width, your calf width, the muscle width at its widest point. Also the cankle factor, and you can see my legs are a little bit cankly, but they're not too cankly like, say, Andrew Clark's cankly legs. Um, no offence, Clarky. And also I'm not very tall, so does that have an effect as well? So what we're going to do is try on all these different socks and take some photos and video and put some marks on my leg to, to come up with a range of acceptable sock heights and see if we can generate a mathematical function to determine optimal sock height. So A, you ride better and B, you don't look like a flaming idiot when you're riding around with giant tall socks. All right, so we've got some socks here that we're gonna try on to determine our optimal sock height for peak cycling performance and minimal piquetry when we're riding around. Um, and Chris is just gonna tell me how the sock looks and we'll make a mark on my leg. So the first one's this sweet pink number that I picked up in France. Now, a lot of people are wearing giant tall pink socks around in Melbourne and I think they look silly because they're too big, but short pink ones are okay, so. I've got a friend, Nick, who um, likes tiny little triathlon socks, but they're just stupid, so we're not going to do those. So how do you think they look, Chris? Are they all right? Uh, they're pretty short, mate. Too short? I think they're too short. All right, we'll put a mark there. Should we put a mark there or just leave it? Yeah, put a mark there. All right, that's that's going to be too short. Yeah. So we'll discard that. That has no bearing on the equation. The next one is this little Vela Nomad sample sock. Hopefully the Sharpie doesn't come off. I personally love this sock, it's a merino sock. And it's just a little bit longer, how do you think that looks? Uh, yeah, I mean, talk about the Q factor, like how are we going with that? Well, we don't really know yet, we don't have enough numbers, Chris, but okay. I, think, I think this one's okay, so I'm gonna make a bigger, a bigger line there. So that's our minimal That's our minimal sock height, probably. Mm. That's where we start from, our equation will start from there somewhere. A bit hard to judge because I'm not on the bike and I don't have um, my cycling shoes on. Here's another Velanomad sock. Oh, they're a bit dirty, mate. They are dirty, they're filthy. Just don't worry about it. Now this one goes up over that other line, so that's that's within the, the bounds of our minimal sock height, so that's okay. We'll keep that one. Let's just dial up the ridiculousness a bit here with this Akuto or Akuto or Akuto, whatever it is. Now if I was a crit racer in Melbourne, these would probably be all right. Look at that giant sock. <laughs> That is Look at ridiculous. it, it's extending right up to the widest point of my calf. Now, are you going cycling or are you playing soccer? I can't that. figure it out. That is just ridiculous. Too big? Yep. Right. Max. Max. Maximum sock height. Well, that's probably too big actually. Look at that range, that's enormous. That's too big. So let's go with the um let's go with the capos. Which are pretty tall. What do you reckon? I reckon they're pretty pro. Hashtag pretty pro. pro. Yep. Alright, so that's gonna be like a that's gonna be like an optimal, maybe an optimal height around there. I feel pretty good, I feel fast. I feel fast just standing there. 
So as you can see, that was the capo one there. Cut on my leg. That was the Velanomad one, so that's that's our range thus far. Let's just try on another one. This is my favourite sock of all. Made by Swiftwick in the States. These are great socks. And that one just goes a little bit above the capo. But I think that one looks alright as well. So I'm going to put a little mark there. So I reckon that's our range of sock heights. What do you think? Yep, looks good. That's too big. I look stupid. The pink one was too small. I looked like a triathlete. No offence, triathletes. Let's just try this Nemesis one as well. Quite popular. Yeah, that's not bad either. A bit tall, do you think? No, they look good. They look pro. I'm only five foot seven, so that could be a little bit too big. But you could just pull it down a little bit like that. So that's all right. Okay, so so we've got quite a sorry, go to there. We've got quite a, a range to work with there. I guess it's a couple of inches. So we'll see if we can construct a math mathematical formula. To work at our um, how do I do an S O S H optimal sock height. I've got that back to front, haven't I? O S H, and we'll come back with a mathematical formula in a um, another video or a blog post.